In this video, you'll see how easy it is to add flying drones to your own environment using the Flying Drone Toolkit for Unity. We will start with a new Unity project. Then, let's choose an interesting environment. If you are inclined to create your own, that's great. Based on my limited artistic abilities, I prefer to buy some of the great environments already available from the Unity Asset Store. I especially like this one, the City Slum Building Pack, for a grungy, urban environment. One thing that I like about this one is that the buildings are more than just facades. You can go inside of most of them. So we will import the City Slum Building Pack. I am editing the video so that you don't need to wait for the import, which takes a few minutes. After the city is loaded, I will open the sample scene and navigate in the scene view to find a convenient vantage point. The sample scene has two intersecting city streets with this intersection in the center. The City Slum Building Pack is modular and you could create a much more elaborate city, but for this example, we can work with the simpler sample scene. Then let's import the Flying Drone Toolkit. If you want drones to travel around autonomously, you need to set up waypoints. The drones will travel from one waypoint to the next, and then randomly choose another waypoint destination. It helps to think of the map of your environment. Let's get a top view of our sample scene and look at it in isometric mode. This reveals an extremely simple map in this case. We can simply put one waypoint in the center and four others like spokes from a hub. It's helpful to name them so we can call them Center, North, South, West, and East. To create waypoints, we just drag in the FD for Flying Drone Waypoint Prefab from the Flying Drone Toolkit. Each waypoint must be associated with its neighbors using the inspector. When we are done with our map, we can go back to perspective mode. Now let's add a couple of drones. This is easily done by dragging the FD Dome Drone and the FD Flying Saucer prefabs onto the scene. We can position them roughly 
for example to be in the air, but it is not critical to get this too precise because the patrolling behavior will control the drone. For each drone, we want to choose Patrol as the user mode. This means the drone will travel automatically among the waypoints. We also need to drag and drop one of the waypoints, ideally the closest one, into the next waypoint slot in the inspector. This associates the drone with the network of waypoints. So now let's try playing the game. The City Slum Building Pack sample scene has a first person controller so we can navigate around. Here's the dome drone up ahead. Note that at the center waypoint, it pauses for a moment and decides which of the other waypoints to travel to next. Now the two drones are colliding. There is an easy fix for that. We go back to the inspector. Each drone has a variable called height above waypoint. If we give different values, the drones will be traveling at different altitudes and won't collide with each other. Let's add a couple of additional drones and try this again. Now we have four drones patrolling at different heights. Let's do one more thing. Suppose we would like our camera to follow one of the drones. Let's disable the first person controller because it has its own camera. Then let's add a new camera. From the Flying Drone Toolkit, we drag the Drone Camera script onto the new camera. Finally, we drag the drone that we would like to follow onto the camera script's target slot. Now when we play the game again, we have a third-person view of this drone as it patrols. This gives us a nice tour of the city. I notice that we do bump into the flying saucers. We can fix that by increasing the separation in the height above waypoint field that we adjusted before. As a final demonstration, I've added more drones. Also, in the inspector, I created empty game objects to group the waypoints and to group the patrolling drones to help keep the project organized. Now, when we run the game, we have a bunch of drones patrolling the slum city. Of course, there's nothing happening on the ground, so these patrolling drones don't have much to look for as they patrol. That's where some creative game design is required. We hope this video showed how easy it is to add flying drones to your own environment. You can also add your own 3D drone models so you could have any type of flying machine that you could imagine. That will be the topic of a future video. Please send any comments or questions 
to the email shown.